one of the biggest problems that people have, including us from time to time, you know, mm-hmm. human, you know, so we okay. want to make a kind of change. Mm. We'll, we'll do it for like a day, a week, a month, and then it, it falls off. Mm. Why does that happen, Ms. Wong? Well, for any changes to stay permanently, there's a system, there's a process that we all have to go through. Um, like everything else in, um, in life. When we first, a couple of things, at first, what Tony said, what petition is a mother of skills? Changes are hard to maintain is because we often don't do enough of those habits for our mind to subconsciously keep it in our head. So that's one thing. And then second thing is we don't maintain it. So like for, for, for my own, myself too, doing a competition, I work really, really, really hard. So I get those results. But to get the same result, we must do it consistently on a daily, on a weekly routine versus just do it once. For example, if you, um, I mean, this is a good one too. Remember your friends asked them, asked you to go visit them. And then you, the first few times, you know exactly how to get to their house. And after a couple of years, you go, give me the address again. Show me the way again. I mean, does it happen to you in the past? So because we don't do enough, but if you do enough, like going to work, like, you know, you go work to the same location every day, same thing every day. You, are, you can actually get there basically, you know, blindfold. But it's because you do it all the time. So even though the first few times you know exactly how to get to your f- friend's place, you know exactly it's in your head, you know, within a couple of days. But then as time goes by, you, your mind focus on something else in your head, maybe more important. So sort of replace that the first item and then leave the other thing go into the back of your head. So that's another thing hard to, to maintain. To maintain something, you have to do it regularly. 